so if we delete that mdf file Hmm. So the MDF file be will be there or default it will get deleted. I will give you an assignment for you. Okay, delete MDF file. Okay, and let me know. Yeah. Okay. So by default you cannot delete default files. Okay, MDF and LDF file you cannot delete it. If you want to try, you can try it. We cannot delete it. Okay. So if you want to see here, PTM right properties. You can delete, okay, uh, which one we have added, batch 39, right? We have added file. Go to properties, go to file space, okay? Expand this window, select this file. This is my data file, right? Select this file. And can you see remove option here? No. Select this file, log file. Can you see remove option here? No. Choose the one which we have added. Can you see remove option here? Yes. So we can remove only extra files. The added files only we can remove. We cannot delete. That's why without creating, without adding, or without having data file, or without having log file, database won't be created. The first answer is you cannot delete MDF or LDF files. OK, okay in case someone, you, someone like secondary you, files you can remove. So if you are uh, only secondary files, you can very good. Only secondary files, secondary data files, you can remove it. OK, somehow you just keep the data file offline and you just remove the data files and log files from this location. Then the database won't come online. Actually, you can delete from here. Physically, you can delete. Physically, you can delete any file. But see here, what is the error it is throwing? The file is in use. Okay, you cannot do this. The action can't be completed because the file is in open in SQL Server. If you keep the database offline, batch 39, you can keep the database offline and you can delete it. But once you delete this MDF file physically, you cannot bring the database online. Logically, you cannot delete it. Physically, if you want to delete, you can delete it, but the database won't work. Okay. Clear? Yeah. So someone is asking any question. Can you hear me, guys? Yes. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So someone is asking question. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, my data file straight is under sir. Uh, file. Uh, data file straight is not a file. File groups. Here I use for this sir. File groups. File groups. Um, File groups again, okay. File groups, it is going to organize the data, okay. File groups usually, as per the SQL Server architecture, they just keep different different file groups for database data organization, okay. You can keep a separate data in separate file group, a separate data in separate file, so that performance performance wise it will be good, okay. Performance wise it will if you keep you can store the whole data in a single file, no one will stop you. But if you organize the data things properly, you can search it clearly, right? Right. So you yeah. can, you if you if you just organize the data properly, that simple thing is performance-wise, it will be somewhat helpful. And maintenance-wise also, it will be helpful. Okay. Right. So here, someone asked that question. Okay. So what if my data? How it is going to organize the data? Which file will will be like? full first then which file how the data will goes to which file so for example by default data will goes to the primary file group first in the primary file groups what are the data files are there first all the primary file group data files will be full okay so you can see here under file groups you can see default option is primary right so by default first primary file group files will be full no matter it is if you want to create extra file group in the if you want to create extra file in the primary file group you can create extra file and you can keep it under primary file group but as per the phenomenon first primary file group files will be full once primary file group files are full if there is no free space to extend then it will go to the secondary files data will go to the secondary files no, no, no. First of all, I want to insert my data into the secondary files only. Then you can change the file group to secondary file group. Okay. So if you if you just go to the file groups here, default is FG1. 
now first data will go to the secondary file group whatever files are there in the secondary file group first all the files will be full then it will go to the remaining files clear if my log if my log file is full then what if log file is full the one thing is here the log file is a temporary storage area okay if log file is full what happened if any computer transactions are there automatically the data will be truncated from the log file means auto truncation is there on the log file so sometimes automatically log file will be truncated means it will only create a free space by itself okay automatically if not sometimes it won't create there are some scenarios in such case we have to check why log file is not truncating we have separate precautions troubleshooting steps to truncate the log file that's it we can add extra log see guys don't misunderstand the concept you can add extra log file also no one can stop you but a database usually as per the recommendations we will have only one log file we don't create multiple log files which will cause performance issues so you can add extra log file also but we don't add it on database will have only one log file 99% one database will have only one log file if your log file is full don't think only adding file is the option no you have to check why it is full why it is not recycling why it is not truncating so based on that you have to troubleshoot and you have to fix the issue then automatically log files also will recycle the data okay clear guys any issues any doubts so in today's concept we discussed how to create a database how to add files so let me change the here the database owner is different right go to the properties i will change the database owner go to the file space there you can see okay those who created the database automatically you can see his name as owner so how can i change it simply type sa here okay just click okay automatically db owner will be changed to different login okay if you go to the file space you can see yes sa login is there okay this is how we are going to change the database owners clear guys any issues any doubts in creating the database adding the files uh, sir uh, organization man yes sir hmm yes sir yes default is done sir man by default when you install automatically it will come okay sa is a permanent login when you install sql server or like when you install sql server the system databases how system databases will come in the same way when you install a sql server a default login sa will come okay we don't create sa automatically it will come once you install the sql server okay yeah. next question Uh, regarding for path then how to change the path if i want path yeah path. after that also you can change the path after creating the database also if you want you can change the path there are two ways if you want to change the path for the first time okay you can change it while creating the database you can see here let me go with the new database again new database okay something like uh, movies okay let me go with movies just expand this window you can see here i want to change the path i want to change movies data file in one location and movies log file in another location you can browse it and you can select the path and you can click okay while creating the database it is easy but after creating the database can we change the path of the database if we change the path the yeah. entire uh, data will be not carry forward to the new port can we change the path of the database after like we after once you created the database can we change it yes we can there is no browser there is no browser option right how can we change it by using alt one by using alt alt very good okay so after database creation you cannot change using gui option you have to go for query method okay so it is a sometimes we have to do that activity we have to change the data files from one drive to another drive from one folder to another folder it's an important activity okay so you can change it after creation of the database also you can change the data files and log files location for that you have to use alter query okay alter database database name move files okay you have to give the file names 
Uh, first, you have to change in the master database catalog. Once it was successfully changed, then you have to bring the database offline. Then you have to move the files physically from one folder to another folder, from one drive to another drive. Then you have to bring the database online. This is a downtime activity. Once you create the database, if you want to move the files to another location, it's a downtime activity. While creating the database, you can choose any location. But due to some space issues and all, we usually change the files from one location to another location. You have to take the proper approvals. Why? Because you are going to bring the database offline for this activity. Then you have to change the location in the master database by using alter query. Once this alter query is successful, then you can move the files physically from new from old location to new location, and you can bring the database online. So in this way, you can change the location of the data files and log files. Clear? Uh, yeah. Sir, if any changes are are running, then what? Yeah, that is different okay. case. Okay, it will go for okay redo undo phases. Okay, okay. it will go for redo undo phases. Yeah, by that time, if you are moving. Why? Because you will keep the database offline, right? So while bringing the database offline, all the uncompleted transactions will be undo. They are going to cancel. Once you bring the database online, again, they are going to go for redo phase. For every database, yeah, we'll have these phases, redo phase, undo phase, rollback phase, roll forward phase. Okay, so don't keep, don't think once you keep the database offline, immediately it will, it will go to offline. No, it will take some time for redo and undo purpose. Okay. So it will, we have discussed, right? Redo for redo phase, undo phase. It will go for redo and undo phase if any transactions are currently running on the database. Based on that, it will, it will take care of itself. Nothing to worry. Sir, uh, it's a service account. Service, not service account, sysadmin. Say sysadmin. SCA you can represent, you can represent as service account also. But here in this scenario, this SCA means sysadmin. Okay. Clear, guys? Any issues? Any doubts? Fine. If there are no doubts, that's it for today. Okay. Tomorrow, we are going to connect by 7 a.m. And we'll discuss about the system databases tomorrow. And then we'll continue our discussion. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, just ping me in the WhatsApp. Okay. Thank you all. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye. I'm going to brush it and I'm going to brush it.